Hey guys, so what are we doing today? We are gonna do some vaccinating, tagging, kind of catch up on some stuff that I haven't done here health-wise. Got the wife with me today, and we're also gonna run up through the new shoot. So, welcome to Thorn Apple Creek Farms. Let's see what we can get done. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. So for all the big cows today, we'll kind of go through these at the end, but they're getting a clostridium. It's called covaxinate. It's like eight different things, plus they're getting tagged. So. get better at it baby. I apologize. So one thing we're learning here is that that uh, squeeze gate needs to be a lot tighter. I put a lot of chain on that accidentally not realizing how little a chain I'd need and Katie and I get it figured out we get a lot better here so don't judge us by this first one They do not like that. 
I feel bad for him. I've had my ears pierced. I would not like that. It's actually working out a whole lot better than I was thinking it was going to. Who was that? Oh, pregnant. Their neck. This white one here is that Covexin 8. This clear one here is the ivermectin. Now this is the only tagging system I've ever used. It's these Z tags. That one went in nicely. Some of them don't, like they almost don't go in that nicely. I don't know. Anybody got a recommendation for a better one? Maybe it's probably user error. Anybody want to take any bets on whether or not my wife cries when I go to tag that little baby cow? I'm glad that thing's not a steer. I'd have never been able to get rid of it. I don't know that cow as well as the other ones. <laughs> I guess I don't need as much chain as I thought. I mean, you know, on the bigger ones, it definitely, I, I, I need some chain, but nah. I was thinking I was going to need more chain. They're tighter than I thought. All right. I'm supposed to have this ready before they get in there.
These are all heifers that we've done. Well, there's some cows and heifers. There's all females that we've done so far. The way that I'm doing it is tagging females in the right ear, males in the left. Now, if you're a good girl here, Trudy, I can get this whole pole. Don't have to hold tight for me. better. Good girl. Good girl. I think this is a bad idea. You guys ready to see some dirt? Is he gonna get knocked over? <laughs> Impossible. So what ended up happening is, is we got Trudy through the gate and I forgot I needed to put one of these weaning clips. So Trudy was weaned when we got her, but the girl we call, the mama we call Miss Jersey, she's got that baby butterscotch. She's been letting Trudy milk off of her, so. You can't have her feed a 450-500 pound calf. See how this goes. As I said with her, I'm kind of lucky because I didn't vaccinate her when she was born and I should have. Probably telling you something you already know. Maybe not though. I never wanted to spend the 25 bucks for this because I had fence posts and sticks. So far today, I've realized I should have spent 25 bucks a long time ago. They hate that noise. It's like the slappy of it makes it move. Is it hard to do? Katie just asked if it's hard to do. And uh, I think I'm getting it figured out. It's been user error. Blame it on user error. These Z tags seem okay. One of the things is, is getting that needle threaded through there right, but the other thing is, is like, don't puss out, go for it. Um, I kind of like going a little easy on it or like, you know, squeeze a little bit, like cramp right down on it. So that's what I got, recommendation. Oh, 
you know, I couldn't tell you if there's a, another spot you can do these injections. Mm -hmm. Everything just says to do it in the back. Detagging that up here. <sighs> Did it again. Backwards. Yep. Putting these tags on back. I'm not a professional. I know it's nothing personal, but this guy kicked me three times when I was loading him the other day, so I don't feel as bad as I did on the other ones. Is it bad? No, no. I okay. just I thought it was for a second. It's like I thought you did it right. Okay guys, so we're gonna talk about what we do today. Um, we got to put our chute to use. That worked out really well. How often do you actually get to like, I don't know, like what I designed, I feel like was it, it worked out absolutely perfect. I'm not saying that squeeze couldn't have been a little tighter, but I mean, for what it was, man, that, that worked good. So anyway, real happy about that, if you can't tell. So we went through, we got everybody re-tagged. We lost a few tags. Plus we got a lot of animals that we didn't tag because we haven't had the squeeze chute very long. Um, so everybody got a uh, Kovacs and eight today. Um, there's eight different things that that protects against. Everybody got wermed straight up ivermectin today. And then the one calf that didn't get it at birth got triangle five. That, uh, that's like a respiratory, uh, I think it's like respiratory, diarrheal, some other word here I can't pronounce. And that's what they got um those orange tags you saw on their nose as i said there was a couple of them that are they're milking off of my cows and can't have that i'm surprised the cows are letting them but oh um, they are letting them so we put those nose rings on hoping that that'll stop them from from milking but yeah everybody went through so now uh we got some steers to do but i think we're gonna do that and we got the bull to do but we we're gonna get that done on another day We'll quit while we're ahead. Call it a successful day. As always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you like this kind of content. If you do, like and subscribe. Try to bring you more of it. Have a great day. Oh, wait. I forgot my helper. Hi. As always, if you like this kind of content, like and subscribe. Have a great day.